Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be explaining in detailed way how to write a test plan for mobile app testing. The first section in the test plan for mobile app testing is introduction. So introduction here we should give the purpose of this document or project introduction or overall contest for this mobile app. Why we are trying to implement this mobile app? that contest we should give and also explain what is the purpose we are trying to achieve by implementing this mobile app. That is also we should give a broader view as an introduction overall goal of any test plan. The overall goal of the test plan is one is identifying the what are the various types of testing which we perform that is an approach perspective or a strategy perspective and what are the resources are required. Once we identify different types of testing, we can identify what kind of resources will be required. And once we done the test efforts, then we can also come out how many number of resources are required. And also we can put a overall test schedule for this given project also we can, we can provide it. I'm going to explain in detail further later and also what are the requirements to be tested? What are the requirements to be tested? And what are the requirements not to be tested also will be required to be mentioning in this test plan. Plus, uh, if you have already identify any risk or assumption which you have made to derive this test plan, then you should call that out while doing strategy estimation. You might have taken a lot of, lot of assumptions, then you should call that out those assumptions as well. Plus, uh, any risks are there then not just mentioning the risk names you should also come out with a necessary mitigation plan as well that also i am going to talk about further to tell you what all the way you can write the risk and how you can mitigate as well and also you will be documenting what are the test deliverables you will be getting out of this overall testing project so next we should uh, provide a detailed scope. So what are the things we are going to test? What are in scope? So maybe we should talk about model wise perspective or feature perspective and also you should call that out. What are the things which you are not going to test? What is in not in scope also you should clearly list out, list out these items. And also as an introduction, we should provide the mobile app introduction plus uh, an architectural diagram for the mobile app which you are implementing. That is also very important while giving it in a introduction sections. You might get this architectural diagram from the development team or uh, other teams. Uh, you can request them. They will provide those information. You can attach those architecture diagram here. If they don't have it, then you can draw on your own simple way. For mobile app testing, we perform some of this different types of testing. So we'll be doing uh, functional testing where we'll be validating all the functional aspect, either it could be positive, negative, boundary conditions and so on. And we also do smoke testing, regression testing. Then we also do non-functional testing for mobile apps, uh, which it could be your ne network strength test or outage uh, test coverage, signal coverage or network coverage and we will be testing with uh, different combinations of network either Airtel, BSNL or uh, MTNL, it could be AT&T and so on. It could be any other uh, network providers, various services will be testing it and uh, peripheral testing will be done. CPU utilization also will be checking when you are performing operations on the your mobile apps. And also we will be validating the page render time. Whenever we are trying to do operation on the mobile app, whether we are getting the right page on right time or not, also we'll be validating as part of this performance testing. And also we'll be performing interoperability testing. Also we perform when we are trying to perform certain operations on the mobile app. So we'll try to interrupt by calling the by voice calling or SMS interrupts or by sending a notification or by removing uh, or adding uh, battery cables or battery into it. By doing all these things, we are going to check it whether your mobile apps really works works fine or not with all these uh, different kinds of interrupts. We will be testing uh, memory leak as well. Memory leak test also is very much required to test for mobile apps where we will be testing memory usage. When we are performing different operation, we will be checking whether memory leak is happening or not. 
whether garbage collection has been really taken properly or not all those things we will be validating and so we will also be testing installation testing because mobile app will be required to install uninstall and uh, updation also is required those testings also will be performed to ensure that your mobile app is really doing right thing when we are trying to do all these operations and also if your mobile app if your mobile app is uh, meant for different languages or international people like english it can handle hindi it can handle multiple languages if it can handle means we should test the different language testing also we should perform different locally also we should uh, test it by with respect to images text and the currency time zone and so on we ensure that your mobile app really works as expected for all these different languages people try to access in from different countries then your application should be smooth enough to take care of and also we will be validating a security testing also this is very crucial especially in mobile app security testing is very crucial where we will be testing different uh, parameters in security testing test the usability experience this is very crucial especially if you are operating uh, or which you are testing mobile apps then user experience is very much required so we will be testing usability as well then uh, we'll also be documenting who is the intended audience for this test plan it could be a project manager your test manager business analyst these are the some of the people who are the stakeholder for this test plan if there are any acronyms or terminologies if you are used in this document then you should call out in this section test plan and strategy where we will be documenting each of the different types which we talked about earlier and we will be in detail we will be discussing what are the various things we test as part of the mobile app testing one is uh, unit testing we will be performing so basically unit testing will be performed at the unit level by the developer whatever the piece of code which developed by the developer which will be testing by themselves or by some other developer to ensure that whatever the code which has been written which is easily maintainable and also we will have to clearly document the entry and exit criteria when we will be entering into the unit testing and when we will be exiting from the unit testing the second type of testing is this is system testing which is very crucial where we are performing various different type testing which i already discussed about what are the things we tested in performance testing what are the things we test it in interrupt testing what are the things we do it in usability testing and installation and installation and updation then functional perspective what are the things we test it localization these things which i already explained earlier i'm not going to repeat it again then what are the various uh, different types of things we test as part of security testing normally for uh, we can talk about performance testing we'll have to write out a detailed test plan by separate team because performance normally which will be done by experts and who are different testers all together and they will come up with a different test plan and security testing people also they will also create a separate test plan this is a more of a master plan which i am talking about here and also we will be performing a regression testing and user acceptance testing also we should accommodate for this mobile app testing then uh, the third section of the test plan is more of a schedule and estimation where first we will be performing the estimation using a poker planning shirt sizing in agile methodology then we arrive the estimation for every user story what is the development effort what is the testing effort then we will be arriving a schedule what is the overall schedule how many number of sprints are required how many number of resources are required what is the overall uh, cost which will be everything will be done based on the overall estimation and this schedule also being done based on that once the schedule is done once the estimation is done then we should also uh, document the risk and assumptions so in the risk section one is uh, major risk in mobile app testing is uh, availability of the latest devices because as a test layer or test manager your job is to procure the latest devices which is available in the market and you should test appropriately because when we are releasing the mobile apps then you should test your mobile apps across different mobile uh, devices as well. so here the mitigation plan is uh, as a test manager you should plan well in advance and you should uh, plan procurement also well in advance if something is not happening properly then you should bring an uh, high priority escalation to get the things done that is a 
mitigation plan then that is we are seeing is if there is a change in the features change in the models then uh, uh, right uh, escalation mechanism should be there everything should route through the change request that also will be required to be documented as a risk and also if there is any delays in the schedule efforts and cost then you should work with the appropriate stakeholders to get the things on track that is another risk and we are also making a different assumption like uh, this is a standard assumption like all blocker defects are uh, bugs given i priority and they should fix also before any releases and all the necessary documents to be prepared and hand over to the client and also necessary software hardware mobile devices are made available and ready for the testing then uh, we should also document the entry and exit criteria entry and exit criteria for system testing is all development is completed all requirements are signed off and frozen then test creation and test plan have been created and signed off test environment is ready required test resources are made available either it could be human it could be mobile devices or it could be a software everything should be available then only we are going to start the testing when we are saying we are done with our testing is when all the test cases which were planned are executed the pass rate which is 95 percent and there is no major and critical uh, defects open and uh, all the test results are reviewed and accepted and all the critical defects which are fixed and remaining are deferred to the next releases that is the exit criteria then what is the suspension and resumption criteria when i am going to stop the testing when i am going to restart the testing that is a criteria also we should document here especially during uh, mobile app testing critical defects that impacts the testing progress that time we should stop because when we cannot do any testing we are not able to perform any testing because of the some blocker defects then you should inform your stakeholders that i am blocked now i cannot do further testing then once the uh, things are fixed then you can resume your work that is also you should clearly document it and any required mobile devices required hardware or required software required required automation tools are not available then you should also suspend your testing by putting the right escalation mechanism once you have all those uh, requ required things then you can resume your work as we said once the above uh, things are resolved then you will be resuming your testing work then also you should define a testing matrix which is required for any testing project these metrics are discussed with uh, stakeholders whatever they require the metrics that you should incorporate it in your test plan and you should start measuring these metrics part of your testing project seventh uh, section is logging tests and reporting so basically in order to log a defects you should have a right test management tool either it could be defect management tool or project management tool to to log a defects and also as a test manager or a test lead you should already define the various testing process for a defect management that also could be documented here and also you should document when we say priority 1 priority 2 priority 3 priority 4 then when we say severity 1 severity 2 seven, severity 3 severity 4 all those things you should define it as part of this section then the eighth section is test environment here so what are the various uh, operating system we are using web servers you are using application server database servers all the details you are required to be mentioned here you can discuss with the development team and even you can get the information from the RFQ then get those information here and put it here and also the client side uh, devices you might be required android devices windows devices ios devices and also uh, what are the latest devices which will be required to procure for testing also you should call that out all those details in this section then also you should define the roles and responsibility uh, in this section you should uh, call that out what are the different roles available in your project and what is their responsibilities who owns what everything you should document crystal clear so that when this get reviewed with the, all the stakeholders everybody will be in the same page for successful delivery the estimations are done you should also call that out the sections section 10 to talk about human resources how many resources are required at different levels tl level ssc level sc level manager level 
what percentage of uh, senior manager work will be done in this project everything you should document it and also what are the different softwares required simulators or emulators operating systems either it could be browsers then automation tools required and its licenses both for functional and non functional uh, testing so every detail you should document in this section we should also document what are the different uh, desktops are required especially for automating or uh, doing manual testing deployment everything will be required a different set of desktops are required for tester even those things also you should call that out very clearly then the 11th one is uh, the deliverables so what are the deliverables you will be performing or what are the deliverables you will be providing as part of this project that also you should clearly document it here these are the various deliverables you will be making those documents you should be handing over once the testing is done then you should also have appendix section uh, which you feel that uh, these are the documents are different documents altogether and which you cannot accommodate in this main document i am taking it as a appendix like uh, automation testing then performance test plan security test plan user acceptance test plan normally this will be done by the different stakeholders by the different experts then we can get the their detailed test plan and you can put it in the appendix section for further review with the any stakeholders at least i am hoping uh, you guys got a clear idea as a test lead or a test manager how you should write a test plan for mobile app testing what are the various ingredients should be there what are the various factors you should consider what are the various things you should bring it into the test plan i hope you guys got all those uh, clarity in this video if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video if you guys are not subscribed then do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care